Hello and welcome. So, before we start, what are you doing? Is this like some kind of fight club? What is happening? So, anyways, today we are going to Nether. I done some work off camera, as you can see. We got a farm, we got a pink wool monument. We expanded the storage area a bit, organized stuff, and got the enchanting table, got a sugarcane farm, and the most important, nether portal. Also, I had no idea why are those guys circling around my dogs, the chicken, like, what kind of cult is that? Why didn't you like your kid? Okay, let's do, let's enter the loud dimension noise. And here we are where everything moans, cries and yeah. So as you can see nether is kind of different. Oh hello. No 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 no. Okay, I almost forgot I don't have a flint and steel, so it will be fun getting back home. Anyways, we need to find a fortress, which honestly I won't lie. I did some searching off camera and look at that. If you can see the small tip over there. Yep, that's the nether fortress. That's where we are going to get the blazes. So one thing you need to remember in the nether is that we can't get lost. Because there are still no coordinates to bring us back home if we get lost. Okay, so far we made it to the other side. Let's mark this way so we know where we came from. And now, where was the fortress? Oh god, it's, 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 it's all surrounded by lava. That's not good. Not good at all. I'm trying to find the best approach here is to like go up there and somehow go down and go over the lava or go from the side to mine it. Like, I don't have idea. Let's go. Let's hope none of the guests see me. Okay, we made it to the other side. Now only to find a way to the nether fortress. Which shouldn't be that hard, right? Oh god, oh god, okay, we... <sighs> Let's just mark this spot because if we get lost, it's game over. And trust me, I don't wanna get, have a game over. Are you kidding me? So, you remember how I need blaze spawner? Well, look what that is. It's a blaze spawner. So, either I'm really lucky or dumb, but... Yeah, that, that is like, extremely lucky, like, our... Shut up. Bridge is over there. And this is over here, so... Yeah, let's go finally get some blaze rods. Oh, I already hear them. Okay, let's just explore the nether fortress first, because why not? Let's see what we can find else. I don't remember if there were chests in the nether before. I think you only mainly went in the nether for that. Yeah, for blaze spawner. Fuck you say to me, you little shit! Oh, hello. Ow, 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 oh, that's too good. Surprise, oh. motherfucker! Okay, 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 okay. No, 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 not good at all. Honestly, blazes look way more, more dangerous than they did before. Like, did you see how they move? Where is he? Like... I don't know if you can hear me, but... They hold their fire charges, they don't shoot them out instantly, like they do now. Like, you see, they see me, and one, two. You see, they, they, they shoot everything at once. Which is kind of hard. Okay, 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 okay. We don't want to die here, that's not the goal. Oh, no. You see them? No. Yeah, like, watch this. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, no, 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 I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Don't, 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 please, don't, don't, don't die, don't die. Okay, great. No! Don't, 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 don't. Please, no! 
Don't come over here. No, I'm dead. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. So, yeah. I went for what I needed, and I died. And the ghast is already shooting at me. And I don't know how will I get... Oh, shit. You know, I just realized that if there are blazes near my items, and if they light up my stuff on fire, I mean, I didn't take a lot of items, but still. It would be a shame to lose our diamond tools. You know what, my plan is just to eat it and skate it, so get my items and run away as fast as I can, because... Okay, I think they despawned. Nice, nice, nice. Oh no, my levels, no. Uh, you can shift click, you can right click the armor on, it's such a pain. Anyways. Okay, our stuff by the looks of it is here. Only three blade blaze rods, what? Okay. You know what hurts me the most? The XP. Now, why? Because, oh. You only get XP from mobs. And getting so much XP so you can enchant all your gear is pain in the ass. And I was like thinking, hmm, let's make blaze spawner farm, okay? But then I forgot. I need silk touch to get the ice to transfer it to the nether. And then it hit me. There's no way I'm getting Silk Touch on this Minecraft version, like... No possible way. Okay, honestly, this Nether Fortress sucks. Okay, it has Blaze Spawner, which is good, because we need it, but... Other than that, it's... It, I still haven't found the Nether Wards. And that's what we need to craft the potions and, you know, do basically anything with the potions. And what is that? That's the stairs up. Oh my god, we found them. Great. Then a dwarf. And that's all she wrote. So we have another spawner. Another spawner. Blaze spawner. We have another egg. We have another wards. We have a glowstone over here. And yeah, that's all this fortress had. And also, I just realized that the blaze spawner was my first death this whole episode. I haven't died before, so yeah. Oh, I forgot to check out up here. Maybe there's something interesting. But I don't think there's another chest of loot in this version, because... Well, another fortresses were just added. There are no wither skeletons, there is no natural blaze spawning, there is basically nothing it's empty okay the positive thing is that i found more network so yay me and the negative is that we reached the, the ed end yeah there's no way else to go other than back so i'm still trying to think about how can i make the blaze spawner work because I have no idea how will I get the water over in the nether without silk touch and I think the silk touch is out of touch <laughs> for now. And honestly making a box to fight blazes and you just seen what they done to me. Yeah. They are not so easy like the old blazes. Ow. Yeah, you see, they hit way, well, they don't hit hard, but they are more precise than the newer blazes. So I have had made a little shack in the nether and farmed some, as you can see, blaze rods. And let's go home now, because that's the only thing left to do. As you can see, my sword is already dead. Ah, Hello there. <laughs> Almost. Why do you overshoot me? Yeah, boy! We got a ghast. And it didn't drop the ghast here, great. 
I had to kill him because I was too scared he's gonna shoot me off the bridge or do something stupid that we all would regret. I mean, you would enjoy because that's the point. You want to see me suffer, but I will enjoy. And let's grab some glowstone because, believe it or not, I still didn't do. Oh, and look what we found! A single magma cube! And we got absolutely nothing from her. Or from it. Or from whatever it was. Oh well. And we are back home. So let's see what happened. Absolutely nothing. Other than the, them, our diamond sword is almost dead. And it's kind of weird because on my screen, you don't see it the red, but on OBS, you see this little thing, it's red. So, yeah, it's kind of weird. So, I'm gonna make a nice little nether farm or nether ward farm. Hmm, <clears throat> let's make it, let's make it, I don't know where. Around here somewhere. And we are done. Our small nether ward, nether ward, just fucking Christ, when I have those words, my mouth just go, eh, derp. Anyways, we have another ward farm, and it's pretty basic, pretty nice, nothing else. Oh, and let's make something special we might need. It's called the Brewing Stand. And yeah, where should we place our brewing area? Like for now, let's do it like this. Because why the hell not? Yeah, that's the perfect spot. Until we make the enchanting area and everything. Also, let me show you around the house. Like, I, you know, I decorated it a bit put glass in this dome area and it looks pretty nice as you can see we can see what's outside the mobs and everything but I found out I have this section above me which I will turn into my private quarters like look at this this was here natural like I wanted it to be here it's like uh, the reminder on the first house in our lookout point as you can see, we had a little cave here, and yeah, I can make this into enchanting and home area. And look at that, we have we got a call. Okay. And as I made my last call, okay. my pickaxe broke. Well, that's a shame. I wanted to make that pickaxe into like first diamond pickaxe in the existence that we used, blah blah, because it really that pickaxe. If I'm drunk, travel the half of the world with me. Well, but it's gone now, but we still have a sword to save, so we're gonna save it. And the shell. And we can pretend the second pickaxe will be the first pickaxe. Also, chickens seem to be back in normal because they don't circle around the little chick anymore, which is... What did you do? I mean, this was a proper farm before I left. So, where did the, the pumpkins go? <sighs> Alright, also, we got a tree farm going outside of here, but since I don't have a sword... Oh, nice, an egg. Since I don't have a sword, we won't go outside right now. But yeah, let's craft a new sword and pickaxe. We have three sticks, just like we planned this. And I wonder when we're gonna make our first diamond armor. Because, you know, it kind of needs way more diamonds than what we have currently. And let's place you around here. And shovel around here, okay. And yeah, we got our new items. 
and i think that would be it for this episode thank you guys for watching next episode is going to be 1.2 version of minecraft i don't know what will be added in that version because i forgot but hey maybe we can somehow get seal touch on our pickaxe and transfer ice to the nether and make another farm or blaze farm and get the xp because the xp as you can see is pain in the ass to get and we need 30 levels i mean we are far away and the worst part is we can't even see what are we enchanting like if i enchant the sword I have, I can't guarantee it would be something good. Actually, let's go. Let's do it for the end of the... Eh, by the way, as you can see, enchants change every time. So the biggest one doesn't have to be the lowest one. Let's go for five. Sharpness one. Okay. Now we get an enchanted sword with sharpness one. Great. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And you know what to do. What you do best. Like, share, subscribe. And... Yeah, see you guys next time. Bye!